Exceeding in agility, strength and hunting, both the Rhodesian and Thai Ridgeback are great dogs when talking about protecting their family with all their power. Even though they origin as hunting dogs, they love to be with their family and even play with children. They have many similarities, but there are also some differences that you should know. Divided into 10 topics, we teach you everything about those two dog breeds, so you can decide which breed is better for your home and lifestyle. Number 1. Origin The Rhodesian Ridgeback is originated in South Africa and is known as the African Lion Hunt due to its parts as hunting lions. They were used by African boar farmer and as hunting dogs that needed to be able to withstand extremes, work long hours with little water and were still affable enough to return home and be the family's pet. They began by crossing mastiffs, greyhounds and hunting dogs with a wild Ridgeback dog. In 1922 a breed standard had been published and since after the breed gained popularity in Africa and found its way into the United States after World War II. The Thai Ridgeback is considered to be one of the oldest breeds and is originated in Thailand, where they are also used as hunters, watchdogs and family protectors. This breed is exceedingly rare outside of their native country and due to a lack of human interaction and isolation, this breed remains largely undomesticated and independent. Thai Ridgebacks were used mainly for hunting in the eastern part of Thailand and to escort their carts. They have kept their own original type for so many years because the transportation systems in the eastern part of Thailand are not developed enough, so there is fewer chances to crossbreed them. Number 2. Personality Both breeds are very intelligent and independent, which makes them have their own mind and will. Due to their use as hunting dogs in the past, they still have a high prey drive that means stray cats and other small furry animals aren't safe in your yard and it also means your yard should be securely fenced to prevent them from going hunting on their own. The life with a Rhodesian Ridgeback can be entertaining, frustrating and rewarding at the same time. They are protective of their home who can be counted on to alert you on trouble. They are reserved with strangers but gentle and affectionate with family members. The Thai Ridgeback is extremely agile, athletic and graceful. They are very sensitive to both sight and sound. They are highly adaptable to any new environment but also have a strong own mind. They like to have their own way and don't give up until they get it. For both breeds it's important to begin training and socialization early to expose them to many different people, sounds and animals so they can grow up to well-rounded dogs. Number 3. Appearance Both breeds are named after their unique trademark, the ridge on their back. Each ridge is formed by hair growing in the opposite direction of the rest of their coat and therefore creates the ridge. The ridge starts from behind the withers and runs to a point between the rise of the hips. The Rhodesian Ridgeback can grow up to 27 inches which is 69 centimeters and weigh up to 85 pounds which is 39 kilograms. Thai Ridgebacks are a bit smaller and lighter. They can grow up to 24 inches which is 60 centimeters and weigh up to 75 pounds which is 34 kilograms. Both breeds do have a strong muscular body and their tail is carried upward called a sickle or sword tail. Number 4. Trainability Both breeds are strong-willed, require formal obedience training as well as intense and extensive socialization. They are quick to learn, obedient and eager to please. Due to their independent characteristics, they must be guided with a firm but patient hand from early puppyhood. Rhodesian Ridgebacks become drastically less active as they age and prefer a few brisk walks and some alone time strolling around. A Thai Ridgeback always wants to be active and he will be a bit more stubborn. Never force him to do anything and if you can persuade him that what you are asking for is something that he would like to do, the better your chances of success are. Thai Ridgebacks are also more eager to please their family than Rhodesian Ridgebacks. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment The two dog breeds require a lot of exercise and even more as puppies. They should train daily for 1-2 to two hours minimum to burn off their energy. They love to run, hike and hunt, which usually means they will run around the yard digging holes or chasing birds. They need constant stimulation and exercise is a perfect time to introduce games, teach them tricks or comments and incorporate obedience training. Both breeds should live inside the house where you can also exercise with them during bad weather conditions. You can play hide and seek, chasing a ball rolled along the floor or teach them new tricks. 
it can take several hours a day to make them tired so they won't distract your home. Besides the needed time for exercise, they also want you to spend time with them for cuddling and laying around. If you're living with multiple family members, you can just split the sessions between each other and make them happy dogs. Number 6. Coat The Ridgeback's coat is short and shiny and tends to be order free. Dogs of their breed who live indoors shed a little year round, while those who live outdoors have heavier seasonal shedding. The color of the coat ranges from light wheaten to red wheaten and some Rhodesian Ridgebacks have black on the muzzle, ears or around the eyes. When it comes to grooming, the Rhodesian Ridgeback is pretty low maintenance. Give them a good going over with a rubber curry brush weekly to remove loose or dead hair. The Thai Ridgeback comes in two distinctive varieties. The first consists of a hard, short and straight outer coat with a very thin undercoat. The second type consists of a short, dense coat that has an appearance and texture of velvet. They can have different colors such as black, brown, red or blue and the second type can be grey, silver, blue and red fawn. Occasional brushing may be needed when he's shedding, which occurs only once or twice a year. So both dog breeds don't need a lot of brushing, which is good considering that they need a lot of time for exercise and training anyways. Give your dog an occasional bath to keep him clean and trim their nails once in a while. Number 7. Best Home Both dog breeds are not recommended for homes with small children. They are too big and too strong to keep them with toddlers. When playing or running around, they could hurt them when not carefully enough only by accident. But they love children and their family, so if you have older kids that know how to handle a dog and can hold them on a leash, they are a good choice for you. Their high prey drive might want them to chase small animals like cats, so if you own other pets, you should get a puppy Ridgeback to introduce them to all of your family members early on with a proper socialization. If you are a first time dog owner and have a family with small children, this is definitely the wrong dog breed for you. If you are experienced with dogs, can provide them a lot of exercise and have children that know how to handle dogs, this breed could be a great choice for you. Number 8. Health both breeds are very healthy in general, whereas the Thai Ridgeback is even healthier because they weren't crossbred a lot with other breeds, which let them develop a stable lineage. Thai Ridgebacks can develop hip dysplasia and may be prone to a skin condition called dermoid xenos and can develop allergies. These are not always clear to identify, but you will be aware your dog is having a reaction to something. Their average lifespan is 12 to 13 years. A Rhodesian Ridgeback's common health issues are hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia and also dermoid xenos. Their average lifespan is 10 to 12 years, which is a bit less than the one of Thai Ridgebacks. If you want to keep your dog as healthy as possible, you should get as many information about this breed before you buy or adopt one. Talk to the breeders, your local veterinarian or other experienced dog owners. Knowing which health issues can occur make you notice them much earlier when your dog doesn't feel well. Number 9. Costs The cost of one of those breeds can vary greatly depending on the quality of the puppies. The price also depends on factors such as the lineage of the puppy, the breeder's reputation, the breed popularity in your country and much more. If you are looking for an average and healthy Rhodesian Ridgebank, you can expect to buy an average price of $1100 and for a Thai Ridgebank $1200. If you want to get a puppy with superior pedigree or even show quality, a Rhodesian Ridgeback can cost you anywhere between $2,200 and $5,500 and a Thai Ridgeback anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000. Before you buy or adopt a puppy, you should get all the information you can about this breed. This includes health certificates of the puppy's parents from your local breeder, specific breed information from your veterinarian and other dog owners that have experience with this breed. A dog will cost you an average of $500 to $1000 a year for wet bills, vaccines, food, toys and much more. Number 10. Diet Both dog breeds are athletic and high energy dogs which is why they need high quality food of dry kibble. The food should be formulated for the particular dog's activity level. Dry food is essential to this breed's oral health as wet foods can cause carriers, infections and bad breath. Rich bags are notorious counter surfers so be sure to not leave human food unattended. Some dogs are prone to getting overweight, so watch their calorie consumption and weight level. 
Treats can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. If you're not exactly sure how much to feed your dog, you can estimate about 25 to 30 calories per pound of your dog's weight. And puppies might need a bit more because they are still growing and are mostly always active. So which breed wins this battle? The Rhodesian Ridgeback or the Thai Ridgeback? That's up to you. Tell us in the comments and share your opinion with the community. If you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, check out the descriptions. And if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe to learn more about dogs in the future.